Welcome to Western Oregon University's 163rd Commencement. Singing the National Anthem is Class of 2020 graduate Julia Fruit, featuring ASL interpreter, Class of 2020 graduate Natalie Medeiros. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Good morning, graduates and families, and welcome to the 163rd Western Oregon University Commencement Exercises. Thank you all for joining us in this new, groundbreaking format. I truly appreciate your participation today, and I want to underscore that nothing about our current circumstances diminishes your achievements. Indeed, hard work and perseverance is even more laudable given the challenging conclusion to the academic year. It's been a rough few months but you've all shown the resilience that the entire Wu community has come to expect of our students and our graduates. Some of you may know that I'm an economist by training. Economists are professional analyzers. They evaluate facts without allowing opinion, emotion, or personal bias to enter the equation. They form suggestions based upon the evidence and the inherent social cost of any scenario. It can be a very idealistic view of the world, but it can be frustrating as well. Because an economist's best case reality is not how the real world works. It's not how the university works. Our world is complicated and we make many decisions based upon opinion, emotion, and personal bias. Factors outside our control, such as a pandemic, can throw a wrench into our so-called best possible outcomes. Plans must be adjusted for this new reality. Flexibility in the face of adversity is required. In the end, though, adaptability and flexibility are essential skills your time at Western has given you. It will be invaluable in your careers and your personal lives. It will be invaluable in your communities as you participate as a global citizen. I commend all of you who are participating in our virtual commencement exercises today for your flexibility and dedication to your education. Both the education you gained in the classroom and the self-realization you gained through personal growth. If I were to put my economist hat on once again, I'd say the best possible outcome of a Wu education is sitting in the virtual audience before me. You've made it to commencement day, and I'm certain your future will contain many more achievements worth celebrating. Finally, I'd like to recognize five wolves 
who, like you, continue to make us proud. They graduated with their degrees from Western many years ago, but they still support our students and our community in so many different ways. Our Golden Wolves, who graduated 50 years ago, are Donna Hammer, Mike Holland, Bob Landwehr, and Sandy Sanford. Our Alumni Award of Excellence winner for 2020 is Michael Morgan. We've created a separate video honoring these five and all the accomplishments they've celebrated since their own commencement days. That tribute is available in the sidebar on this virtual commencement webpage. Now I'd like to cede the microphone to Betty Comp, the chair of Western Oregon University Board of Trustees, who will share a few words. Good morning, 2020 graduates. On behalf of the Western Oregon University Board of Trustees, I want to share our deepest congratulations on reaching your goal of obtaining a degree. The board's truly impressed and proud at the perseverance that's brought you to this moment in time, and what a moment it is. The challenges you faced in these recent months prepared you for whatever life brings. Success at all levels is in your hands. Congratulations. Throughout your journey, you were supported by communities. Your community of friends and family, your community of Wu and staff, and your community of neighbors and hometowns. We're limited in our ability to be with you in person today, but that does not diminish our joy and pride in sharing this day of celebration with you. Again, the Western Oregon Board of Trustees offers its congratulations to you. We look forward to seeing what you accomplish as wolves in the world. Hello, everyone. Can I get a skull wolves? Skull wolves. First and foremost, congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you to all our friends, family, faculty, staff, and everyone else who helped us get here. Like many of you, I decided to come to Wu because it was affordable, close to home, and small in size. Little did I know, I would be embedded into this diverse, tight-knit community I now call home. My wonderful journey at Wu started with building forever friendships with my freshman hallmates, playing sardines, which is like inverted hide-and-go-seek, on countless Saturdays at midnight. I was involved in many things. I thoroughly enjoyed having my days filled, not just with rigorous academics. Aside from school-related activities, I spent my time hanging with friends. From spontaneous road trips with my honors crew, to having barbecues with my Hawaii family, to living and traveling with my best bud, Ming. All the opportunities at Wu allowed me to further develop myself as a student, person, and leader, and find a job directly related to my future, all while having fun and making memories. Though my days were packed, my stress relievers, like club sports and intramurals, kept me balanced and on track. What were some of your stress relievers? Whatever comes to mind, carry them with you because life is bound to get tough again, but you will always be stronger than anything life throws at you. As a full-time student working a few jobs, participating in organizations, and somehow getting seven to eight hours of sleep almost every night, college taught me that time is abundant. Some of you may be thinking, is she nuts? Or, oh, wow, we must have different clocks. But really, when you take a look back and see all the things you've done, you'll notice how much you can fit into each day. College also taught me to never let an opportunity go by. It may not come again. It may not be in the time or in the form you were hoping for, but if you take it, you're bound to gain something from it that'll help you later in life. No one person or small group of people can speak on behalf of an entire graduating class. We've each had our own unique journey at Wu. Whether you worked three jobs, participated in organizations, or had a family to take care of, Wu played a huge role. It served as a home, an outlet, or a sea of opportunity for us. I surveyed some of my classmates and asked, what five words come to mind when you think about Wu, and what impact has Wu made on you? I want this speech to embody our collective class as a whole. What do you think the most common word to come to mind was? Community. Some other recurring words included supportive, 
growth, affordable, diversity, and opportunity. Every response was distinct, but they all implied Wu providing opportunity for discovery as a student and person, in addition to forming incomparable relationships and connections with other students, faculty, and staff. As for my favorite response, squirrels. Even though it reminded me of my unsuccessful attempt to capture Chester the Squirrel, my first failure of many in college. I'm sure we've all had our fair share of failures. Adversity may have been the force that brought you to this point, becoming college graduates at this very moment. The time has come to use what we learned from our successes and failures, coupled with our adventures and experiences to make a difference. Let's give a big thank you to Wu for providing a journey packed full of experiences that make you who you are. Now, it's time to celebrate what your accomplishments and where you're headed. Skull Wolves! Al ser un estudiante bilingüe y bicultural, tengo el privilegio de dar una parte de mi discurso hoy en mi idioma nativo. Primero, quiero decir que el estar aquí presentando a la clase del 2020 es un gran honor y representa los sacrificios que mis padres han hecho por mí y mis hermanos. Este reconocimiento demuestra que con la perseverancia, optimismo y un sistema de apoyo, uno puede alcanzar sus metas. En la universidad, los sistemas de apoyo son de gran ayuda para los estudiantes, especialmente para los estudiantes de primera generación. La Oficina de Programas para Estudiantes Multiculturales y el Programa de Enriquecimiento Estudiantil empoderó a muchos estudiantes, incluyéndome a mí, y nos guiaron a llegar a donde estamos hoy, nuestra graduación. Otra gran ayuda que tuve en la universidad fue mi hermana, Susana, quien también se está graduando hoy con nosotros. El tener a mi hermana en esta experiencia de nuestras vidas ha hecho una gran diferencia porque me apoyó con mis estudios. Mi hermana, mis padres Jesús y Erendira, mi hermano Alexander, mis amigos cercanos y hasta mi perro Sparky formaron parte de este gran y largo camino. ¿Quién te apoyó a ti? Toma unos momentos para pensar en esas personas que con su apoyo incondicional hicieron que hoy te graduaras. Me gusta pensar que nuestra universidad, siendo tan pequeñita, puede ofrecer grandes oportunidades. Mis posiciones en liderazgo en la escuela me enseñaron que la representación en las posiciones de liderazgo es importante porque empodera a los estudiantes que tradicionalmente tienen baja representación. El Club de Unidos es un recurso para los estudiantes indocumentados y estudiantes con familias con gran variedad de estatus migratorios. En este club aprendí que para salir adelante, la perseverancia es la cura de la incertidumbre. Sin embargo, debemos acostumbrarnos a la incertidumbre, porque la verdad es que la incertidumbre está en todos nosotros. Debemos reconocer esto especialmente en estos tiempos en los que nos enfrentamos a una pandemia global. Es la manera en que decidimos pelear contra la incertidumbre, la cual nos ayuda a todos a perseverar y salir adelante. En mi caso, los soñadores han sido una inspiración para aprender qué significa salir adelante y mantenernos perseverantes. Con ello, he aprendido a permitir que la adversidad nos empodere y ayude a convertirnos en personas que hacen un mundo mejor para quienes pasan por lo mismo hoy. Las siguientes son palabras que muestran la lucha de un soñador. Soy una comunidad. No soy algo de lo que se debe avergonzar, soy algo de lo que se debe estar orgulloso. Mi perseverancia, mis sacrificios, mi habilidad de soportar una vida de incertidumbre y de dolor, de deshumanización, de racismo. Le agradezco a los aliados. Ellos me motivan a continuar. El movimiento me reconoce, me humaniza, me ve, me valora. Esa es la luz. Esta universidad ha sido la luz para muchos soñadores, como Alma Pacheco, a quien conocí en mi primer año y me motivó a involucrarme. Ella era la presidenta del gobierno estudiantil en la Western y me dio una tarjeta de contacto, la cual he conservado hasta el día de hoy. Alma me abrió los ojos y la puerta a muchas oportunidades. Por ello, sentí la obligación de honrar y continuar su legado, apoyando a los estudiantes tradicionalmente con escasa representación en las instituciones. 
Entonces, a través de mis posiciones de liderazgo en la escuela, decidí desarrollar un proyecto para crear un centro para Dreamers en la universidad. ¿Cuál es tu legado? Quiero que pienses en el legado que tú estás dejando hoy y en los estudiantes que continuarán el trabajo que tú has hecho. En el futuro, voy a continuar aprendiendo cómo puedo abogar por los estudiantes con baja representación en el sistema de educación y crear leyes que apoyan a todos los estudiantes y aseguran la equidad. Estoy emocionada de continuar mis estudios de maestría en la Universidad Western Oregon. A través de mis experiencias, aprendí que mi comunidad, la comunidad Latinx, no está representada en lugares importantes y me di cuenta que una ley puede tener un impacto grande en las vidas de las personas. Y esto es a lo que quiero dedicar mi vida, crear acceso para las personas. Maya Angelou dijo, haz lo mejor que puedas hasta que sepas más, para cuando sepas más, hacerlo aún mejor. Todos tenemos expectativas de nosotros y de lo que debemos hacer con nuestras vidas. Los reto a que salgan de la mentalidad que tienen que tener toda su vida planeada. En su lugar, aprender a tomar riesgos y sentirse bien en situaciones incómodas e inciertas. Ahí es donde ocurre el desarrollo personal. Aprende a tomar saltos de fe que te lleguen más cerca a la persona en la que te quieres convertir y a pasar tu legado a generaciones que lleguen detrás de ti. Entonces, clase del 2020, ¿cuál será tu legado? This award is truly an honor. It means the sacrifices my parents have made were worth it. This award means that with resilience, optimism, and a support system, one can accomplish their goals. In college, support systems are crucial for students. Departments such as the Multicultural Student Services and Programs Office and the Student Enrichment Program helped empower and guide me and many other underrepresented students to where we are today. Another support system I had throughout my time at WU was my sister, Susana, who is graduating with us today. Not many people get to experience college with their sibling, but having her support made all the difference. I could confide in her, she would bring me coffee during my evening class, and would stay up late to study with me at the library. My family, my close friends, and my dog Sparky were my support system. Who was there for you? Think about the people who with small gestures and unconditional support made college possible for you. I like to think of Wu as a small school with big opportunities. My leadership roles taught me that you can help create an inclusive community. They taught me that empowering underrepresented students is important and that representation in leadership positions is crucial because it helps empower others to step up. Unidos Club, a support system for undocumented students and students with mixed status families, taught me that resilience is a cure to uncertainty. However, we must all teach ourselves to be comfortable with the feeling of the uncertainty because the truth is, uncertainty is in all of us, especially in the midst of a global pandemic. But how we choose to fight the uncomfortable feeling of uncertainty is how we become resilient. Dreamers taught me what resilience is, learning to allow adversity to empower and shape you so you can make the world a better place for people who went through the difficulties you went through. Listen to these words of a dreamer's struggle. I am a community. I am not something to be ashamed of. I am something to be proud of. My resilience, my resourcefulness, my sacrifice, my courage to withstand the agony that is a life of uncertainty and pain, of dehumanization, of racism. I thank the allies. They keep me going. The movement recognizes me, humanizes me, values me, sees me. That's the light. Wu has been the light for many dreamers. During my first year, I met a dreamer named Alma Pacheco. We met at the WUC and she encouraged me to get involved on campus as she handed me her ASWU president contact card. I've kept it to this day. Alma's outstretched hand opened doors of opportunity to me and Alma's legacy was to support underrepresented students. And I felt compelled to continue that legacy through my campus involvement and through my proposal for a dream center at WU which received the Maurice Undergraduate Initiative Prize. What is your legacy? I want you to think about the legacy you are leaving behind today and the students who will continue the work you have begun. As for the future, I wanna continue learning how I can advocate 
for underrepresented students in education. And I'm excited to do so as a master's student at WU. I wanna create policies that support all students and ensure equity. Through my experiences, I've learned that my community, the Latinx community, is not represented in spaces that are crucial. I realized that one policy can have a major impact in people's lives. That is what I would like to do moving forward, create access for people. Maya Angelou said, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. We all have expectations of what we wanna do with our lives. But I challenge you to get out of the mindset that you need to have your life figured out. Instead, learn to take leaps of faith that get you closer to the person you wanna become to the legacy you want to leave behind. So class of 2020, what will be your legacy? It is an honor to be speaking on behalf of the OHSU Monmouth nursing class of 2020. Graduating from OHSU's rigorous nursing program was not easy, not to mention the fact that we are graduating virtually and unlike any other graduation in WU or OHSU history. Like all of you, those of us in the nursing program have overcome many hurdles and obstacles and have fought long and hard to be here today. From that CPR sim that left us sore for days to the long and overly caffeinated nights studying for exams and writing papers to quickly adapting to the sudden changes that the COVID pandemic brings. When we envisioned our senior year, I'm not sure that this is what we had in mind. We were excited for our newfound independence and to finally put our education into practice. We looked forward to practicum and to finally start feeling like nurses. We had all worked incredibly hard to have that clinical experience. Some days it felt like the pandemic swept our chance to further develop as nurses. Nonetheless, we adapted to the online curriculum and managed to find the positives and the wondrous and sometimes frustrating vSIMs as prep for the NCLEX and experience for pediatric and labor and delivery patients. COVID has taught me that we are resilient. We made it through nursing school, we are surviving a pandemic, and we have what it takes to become amazing nurses. I know that with our strong foundation in nursing education, the rest of the hands-on skills will follow. Nursing school was the foundation of our careers. And now the real learning can begin as we take on our first nursing jobs and develop into the nurses we dreamed of becoming. When someone asks, what is it like to be in nursing school? And our response is that we consumed enough coffee to give a horse a myocardial infarction. But don't worry, we also learned the acronym to treat it. MONAB, if you're wondering. Oh yes. We also cried almost every term. That leaves people wondering, was nursing school worth it? And to that, the answer is yes. We spent hundreds of hours helping to provide holistic patient care. We recognize that caring for a patient and making them better is physical, mental, social, societal, economical, and so much more. We may go home from a shift not sure if their health improved, but we will know that we made a difference. Nursing is about the little victories whether titrating someone off of oxygen or making someone laugh. That is what nursing is about and what makes nursing school worth it. I would like to end the speech by recognizing those who have supported us throughout this journey. It has been heartwarming to see the community pulling together to support us by sewing masks and cheering on the healthcare workers. These community actions make us excited to be joining the nursing profession. Thank you amazing, hardworking, and talented nursing family for supporting one another throughout the program and the pandemic. And thank you to our nursing faculty and mentors for guiding us from the novices to competent nursing professionals. Finally, a huge thank you to our loved ones who supported us and endured our many episodes of crying, self-diagnosed stress overload, and delirium caused by lack of sleep. On a final note, I'll leave you with a quote by Adlai Stevenson. When you leave here today, don't forget why you came. Thank you.
To my fellow class of 2020 graduates, friends and family, and the rest of the Wu community, I am honored to share today with you, even if it is not in person on a beautiful June day in Monmouth. This has not been a traditional year and certainly not a traditional graduation. The past few months have been understandably focused on the COVID-19 pandemic, the lives lost and lives changed. People have lost their jobs and the wisdom of social distancing for public health has also led to stress in how we as people interact and connect with those we care about. It affected today's celebration as we are unable to participate in a traditional commencement. That might also be lucky for you because giving this speech in person might have led me to pass out from stage fright. 2020 might have changed things, but change does not always have to be an obstacle or continued fear that limits us. Previous generations have been looked up to by those who followed, not because of what they did when things were easy, but when terrible events tested their resolve. I have never publicly shared the following part of my life, but it seems like 2020 has put us in situations where sharing more of ourselves can help shed light on others. When I was 17, I had a severe injury to my neck and back, which caused continued neurological damage and a depleted immune system that led me to slowly withdraw from people over the years. It changed me, but not for the better. It took my amazing family and doctors to help me eventually stabilize my condition. And while I will never regain my former strength and energy, I'm able to have a life again with the people I love. Life did not return to normal, and I am thankful for that. Going through years of pain and eventual recovery led me to value things and people more. Learning how to say no means that when I say yes, it is because I am invested, it matters. Not being able to rely on my body has meant that I must work harder for everything I do. But this has also meant that everything I accomplish means more to me because it was hard. Ellen DeGeneres once said, it was so important for me to lose everything because I found what the most important thing is. The most important thing is to be true to yourself. There are times that I wonder what would have happened if some of my dreams had not ended because of my body betraying me. Those old dreams died, but losing them helped me to become a better me and to dream new dreams. Confucius said, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. I got back up again, over and over, and I pushed myself to become better. I met Kelly, my amazing best friend, and married her two years ago, and we had our son Luke at the beginning of the COVID-19 crisis. I went back to school, earned my associates, my bachelor's, and now my master's degree. Each one was a battle, and each one meant more to me because of what I went through to get here. Somehow, I was selected to speak with all of you today. You have all gone through battles and overcome them. COVID-19 has changed us, and yet you are still here. You are a better you for going through all of this. We have lost people and dreams during this darkness, but the darkness is when your best comes out. It is not when things are easy that we have the chance to see you at your most compassionate, creative, your best self. It is when things are difficult that we need you to be your best. To the class of 2020 and all those celebrating with us, you are resilient. I am honored to celebrate today with you as we become better versions of ourselves. And now I have the honor of welcoming Wu Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Rob Winningham, to the podium for the conferral of degrees. Thank you, Joshua. Normally, at this part of the commencement exercises, we begin announcing graduate names as they walk across the stage to receive their degrees. Instead, I invite you to explore the graduation cards available on this webpage. They contain personal statements and photos from all of our participants today. You can view your own cards, as well as those for friends and classmates, and you may even want to view all of them. I am struck by how each graduate represents a long and life-changing journey, culminating in this success that they'll benefit from for the rest of their life. 
And I'm also struck by how that success can in turn affect future generations. I know I'll enjoy reading through each graduation card, as will President Fuller, whom I invite to take the microphone once more. Thank you, Provost Winningham, and congratulations again, graduates. Your Wu degrees are one of the first stepping stones on your path to future success. Now I think it's time we make it official. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side, symbolizing this important evolution from student to graduate. The learning should be a lifelong endeavor. Today you've earned a break. Enjoy your celebrations with your families, friends, or quarantine mates. And remember, we are wolves. Wolves are resilient and smart. Wolves are leaders. This is your time to lead and prosper. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thanks for watching this virtual ceremony of Western Oregon University's 163rd commencement. Share your photos, video clips, and congratulatory messages using the hashtag WooGrad.